Hi everyone, Dr. Mike here. In this video, I want to talk about the four muscles of the rotator cuff in under two minutes. So remember, the rotator cuff is this tenderness sheath that maintains stability of the humerus in the glenohumeral joint of the scapula. Now, I've got a view here from the front and a view here from the back, which is really important. Let's start at the back, a posterior view, and start with supraspinatus. Now, supraspinatus has its origins here above the spine of the scapula in the supraspinatus fossa. And you'll find that the muscle fibers from here will move in this direction and go underneath the acromion. Now you can see this is the acromion and protrusion of the scapula. And as this muscle comes through, it comes underneath and it attaches on the humerus at a part that we call the greater tubercle, this protrusion here. Now when that muscle contracts, the humerus is going to move out like this and that initiates abduction at the arm. Great, that's the first rotator cuff, second rotator cuff muscle. Second is infraspinatus, infraspinatus begins here underneath the spine of the scapula and that's where it originates and then it inserts at the greater tubercle. Now this is at the back remember, so infraspinatus is going to play an important role in external rotation. Then let's look at teres minor which sits underneath that and more so what it does is it also attaches in just below but at the greater tubercle and that aids in external rotation and then finally when we go to the front we're going to have a look at subscapularis which sits in the subscapular fossa so in here this is where the origin is going to be and it attaches to the lesser tubercle which is at the front here and this plays a role in internal rotation and these are the muscles that together form a cuff called the rotator cuff